my virtual insanity. Okay, here's PlayStation VR on the PC in Witcher 3. <laughs> it took a while, it took a while. My, some of my old videos I used to play with the original Sony HMD using it as a VR, but it didn't have the surround wide FOV like this does. So it's kind of. I've got some videos five years ago where I was using that. I was using Track IR to, to do their tracking. So it was quite easy to get this working actually, I was really surprised. Uh, if you'd like to do this and you've got a PSVR, I'll go through a couple of games maybe, see if I can get them working. I'll tell you how I did this, I don't know if there's other people doing videos on this, but this is how I did it. So the, the hardware, you can just plug it into your HDMI on your uh, video card on your GPU. Uh, it's not as easy as that, the, the breakout box from the PSVR, you have to basically fool it if you have to plug a HDMI device into it so you can plug it into a, a TV you know you can plug it into I plugged it into my capture card on my back of my PC if you don't do that it thinks the PSVR is not, headset's not plugged into it and it'll just turn it up the feed off within uh, a second or so yes I agree my friend so the you still plug the second HDMI. It looks like a HDMI, but I think it's just power and tracking and stuff like that into the and audio too. Maybe no, the audio come for the HDMI probably. Well, the control for the control unit. So that's what the other one's there. So you still plug the white one in, and but the other one you plug into your back of PC, and then in the port on the breakout box you plug your HDMI device. Now that'll get you the video, but the video that comes out of your PC will just be like a monitor, so it's basically a monitor, so your monitor, if you go into your NVIDIA settings or your, what's the other one called, ATI settings, AMD settings, the, it'll just show you a 1080p monitor, so from then on you can use, uh, I use, re, well there's quite a few different options, but the only one I f can get to work at the moment, I normally go to Vorpex, because that used to be really good with the Oculus uh, development kit, that's what I used to use, uh, but Vorpex is now very limited, it only gives you the HD Vive, the DK2 or the Oculus Rift settings, so I, I posted on the forum about that, hopefully they'll support this soon, as soon as the guy gets one he can check it out. So I've tried Tridef, I couldn't get that to work very well, and I found a guy who created a preferences uh, shader file for uh, reshade. So reshades are utility people use to really tweak the graphics in games and it basically you can play with all the settings. So if you install reshade, it'll, you have to install it per game and then you, you get this uh, file, I'll link everything in there, I'll show it on screen, I'll link it down below. You put this into one of the directories and you're into the shader directory, it's called, it's called 3D Shade. Then when you load the game you'll do Shift F2 and it'll come up all the settings and you can choose the, the 3D Depth one. So that will give you side by side. Now, so that will give you the 3D in and be, you basically can play games but it won't move. So then the head tracking is a bit more difficult. You obviously can't use the, at the moment, I, I, I think because there's a USB plug on the PSVR breakout box, I think they'll really be able to capture the, the gyroscopic set, uh, feedback from the headset. It'll be a bit more difficult to do the optical through a camera, that's something that's like the multiple uh, ways that the PSVR does the tracking. So I think it'd be quite easy to get that tracking. Now I'm using something very similar, it's called the ED Tracker. You have to go to edtracker.co.uk, yeah, no, .org .uk, I believe, edtracker.org.uk. And then that's a little box you can see on top of my headset on my Sennheisers. And I used to use that with Elite Dangerous, and it's basically a gyroscopic tracker you can plug into the USB, and then they have their own software, I'll overlay what that looks like. And then an easy way to do mouse emulation is using Open Tracker, and <laughs> that works with pretty much all the games. And you can either use it as a for games that don't really have the options to have a look around, like you know, like a flight sim would have or a driving simulator, because the people have been trying to use like track IR and anything that does head tracking for a long time. They've got options where you can just do that. Obviously the Witcher 3 doesn't really have that mode, so you can just do emulation, really. A mouse emulation, sorry. So the way you look around is with your mouse, I'm doing here, and then the way I can look around with my headset. I've really reduced the sensitivity, otherwise it would make you sick. But you can see as I move my head, my hands are here, I can move around. If I use my mouse, I can move around too. 
Uh, we've also got a little tweak somewhere that I'll link that to, where if I press P, there we go, good guess, because I can't see my keyboard. Uh, we go first person. Now you, you can also change the, I've not done it yet, but I've got the FOV quite narrow, but the FOV by default on these, uh, well, the physical FOV is about 100, I believe, degrees on the on this headset. So we can set that as well using this little tweak the guy says, and then so we can actually, we've got like a first person thing where we can go in there and we can look around and see what we want to do. But yeah, I still need to tweak the, uh, the head tracking a little bit, but it does work. It's just very minute. I thought it'd be good to see so you don't get sick. Uh, let's try this in a different game, shall we? Imperial fighters closing. Cut them apart. Make a hole for our transport ships coming off world. Okay, this is Doom, the new Doom 2016, Doom 4, Doom whatever it's called, I don't know. Now we turned off uh, head tracking completely, I'm not getting sick. This game is a little bit too fast, but it looks great on oh, the PSVR, I must say. I can play it. I've done a video on Vibe, so I'll link that up here. Playing this. It's been a while since I've played it. Sink your head to it with your master. My head's not doing now as well. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm not getting sick. This is uh, with the shaders, this is actually just splitting the screen, I'm not sure how 3D it is, so it could be done better. I don't know if we could go that. It's hard to tell you if you play on the screen, if you play it in 4K, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. That's it. Whoa! Drop fire! Do drop fire! 